Now let's solve a 3x3 three three system using an augmented matrix. We would like to have a 1 in this top left corner. And instead of multiplying through the first equation by 1 third, which will create fractions, let's just interchange the first two rows and write that second equation as the first row of our matrix. So that first row will be 1, negative 2, 3, 1, and the second row will have the 3, 1, 1, negative 2, and the third equation or row will stay as it is. Okay, always take your time and make sure that you don't accidentally miss a negative sign when you're doing this. Now, we've already got the 1 exactly where we need it, so we want now to get zeros beneath it where this 3 and 2 are. And to create those zeros, we will multiply the first row by the opposite of these two values. So to cancel out this 3, we will say negative 3 row 1 plus row 2 is the new row row 2. And to cancel out the 2, we will multiply that first row by negative 2, and then add that to row 3 to become the new row 3. Notice that only row 2 and row 3 are being replaced, so that when we rewrite this matrix, we keep row 1 exactly as it is, 1, negative 2, 3, and 1. We've designed this to get zeros in that first column. You can check this if you want by going negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus that 3 does make the 0. Then negative 3 times negative 2, that's 6, plus 1 makes 7. And negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, plus 1, which makes negative 8. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, minus 2 makes negative 5. Then negative 2 times the row 1 to cancel out with row 3. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, plus this negative 3 makes 1. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 5 makes negative 1. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus this 3 makes 1. So we've now got a new matrix with a 1 not where we want it. We really want, we've got the zeros here, we really want a 1 where that 7 is. Now, we can either multiply through by 1 7th, or we can interchange rows, which is what I'm going to do here. So the first e row will stay 1, negative 2, 3, 1, and the third row will move up to become the second row because these are just equations. We're allowed to interchange equations and write them in a different order. So there we have it. Now we have our 1 where we want it in the second row, second column, and we wish to get zeros above and below it where the negative 2 and the 7 are. Now we will get those zeros by multiplying 1 by the opposites of these coefficients. So to cancel out that negative 2, we will multiply 2 by row 2, add it to row 1 to replace row 1. And then we will take negative 7 row 2's, add it to row 3 to get the new row 3. So notice that row 1 and row 3 are going to be changing, but row 2 is not going to be changing again. So when I rewrite my matrix here, I'm going to keep row Two exactly as it is. We've designed this to get zeros in that second column, so I'm just going to write them in automatically. And let's focus on these third and fourth columns. So here we go. Negative two, or sorry, two times this negative one is negative two, plus the three above it is one. Two times one is two, plus the one above it makes three. Now, negative 7 times negative 1, that's 7, plus this negative 8 makes negative 1. Then negative 7 times 1 is negative 7, plus negative 5 makes negative 12. Okay, the first two columns are exactly as we want them, and now we want to move down to the third value on this diagonal, and we don't want negative 1, we want positive 1. So I'm going to just multiply through by negative 1 and say negative row 3 will become the new row 3. 
and we will rewrite the first two rows exactly as we see them here 1 0 1 3 0 1 negative 1 1 and now we're going to multiply this third row by a negative to get a positive 1 in that third position at this point we've got our diagonal exactly as we want it we want to get zeros above it we will cancel out this positive one on the first row with a negative one so negative row three plus row one will become the new row one and no change is needed we already have opposites so just one row three or just row three itself plus row two is the new row two so only row one and row two are going to be changing row three is going to stay 0, 0, 1, 12 when I rewrite this system over again. We know that the first column will be 1 followed by two zeros. We know the second column is going to be 0, 1, 0. We've designed it so that this third column will have the zeros above that 1. So all we really need to do is get these remaining two values. So here we go. Negative row 3, that's negative 12 plus 3 makes negative 9 and then row 3 plus row 2 that would be 12 plus 1 makes 13 and now since we've got our identity matrix or this column of ones on the left we now can write the solution set as negative 9 13 12 and you can check your work by substituting this coordinate point into all three systems or th all three equations and verify that this indeed is the solution set.